Let's check out this all-in-one camera, microphone, turret. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this. I'm really excited about it. It's the Morant Turret. Having a all-in-one setup like this can be really convenient for people that don't want to go out and get a webcam and a good microphone and then figure out how to mount it all. And with everyone being home these days, I thought it would be really interesting to check out this device. It's actually hard to get because I think so many people are trying to order it. Now, I have just unboxed it and I wanted to show you here. This huge box was taken up by this huge piece of styrofoam. But the only thing that comprises the turret is right here on this side. Now, the reason you have such a big box is because of this boom arm that sticks out here. So let's get this unwrapped and check it out. Now, before we check out the turret itself, which is really interesting looking, I want to show you that on the styrofoam here, we get some other accessories. So right here, we actually get a couple of ring light covers. So you can go with the cool blue or a warm color. And by default, it looks like there is a white ring on it. We also get this little box here, which I think will be our power cable. And right down on the bottom, I will show you that there is a port for a single prong power cable two-prong non-grounded outlet. We also have a couple of little accessories here. It's a screw, looks like a spacer, and then also a little clip-on logo cover so you can put that on the microphone filter there if you wanted to show that you have a Marantz or even put your own logo, I think, you know. And then we have a cable and it's a traditional USB to USB-C. And this looks like it's going to be pretty long, five or six feet potentially here. So you can plug this in and then connect it to your computer. I do want to take you on a little tour of the Marantz turret here. This thing is really well built, which is what I would have expected. And I was really curious how they were doing a few things. Now, like I said, a lot of people are staying at home, doing video conferences, doing podcasts, webinars, whatever it might be. And so having a all-in-one setup like this can be really convenient for people that don't want to go out and get a webcam and a good microphone and then figure out how to mount it all. And then especially depending on the types of monitors you have, when you put a webcam at the top it's not really centered on you and that's really my problem is that I didn't have a way to bring that webcam down and so I thought this would be a great way to be able to do it as well as maybe take this on the road because it's an all-in-one setup so I can just connect it to my laptop and have a really professional setup with me all the time and you just wouldn't know so first of all it's like an all aluminum metal construction it's really heavy and robust you can see this bottom piece right here looks like it is about seven inches by seven inches uh, flat down here so that you've got this big metal base you've got some rubber feet on the bottom so it's not going to slip around this is going to anchor it it's beautiful because it says turret right on it and Marantz now I've had a Marantz microphone for a long time I use it with my desktop when I'm doing live streams and it's been great it's a little more expensive than some of my other microphones but it's definitely a step up in quality and so I've really really liked it so that's what gave me a lot of confidence in ordering this because this was not necessarily a very inexpensive little contraption but it wasn't that expensive, especially when you're looking at a decent webcam and a decent microphone. I think you could pay just as much, but in this case, you'll have it all in one. Now you have what looks like a pipe or a tube that sticks up here, and it's really beautiful. You have all these bronze finished on all the, the hinges and everything like that. And so it's got this black and bronze look. It almost looks a little steampunk. It's very cool looking and it's really well made. Now at the top of this you actually have a camera and what's really cool is that it rotates as you might be able to see right there so you can get that centered in or move it around a little bit you've got the camera in the front and then you have this ring light around it now this camera is not a 4k camera it's a 1080p which i think puts it in the realm of a lot of like the logitech c920s which is what i use and it's a really good camera i've always wanted to go to a 4k i wish it offered that in this configuration but the 1080p is probably just fine and for most of my uses you know 1080p suffices and when you're streaming and you're providing all that data sometimes it actually can be nice to be a little lower resolution and the ring light around it which is really really nice one thing that i do wish that it had is maybe a flip out or flip down cover that would go over the lens here so that you know the camera is not looking at you if you don't need to you can actually see that the camera is kind of free floated within that tube it's got kind of a nice interesting look as you can see right through the pipe there the cool thing about this camera that i mentioned is not only does it swivel but it will go up and down as well so you can definitely dial in the way it is angled then you have this very long arm and i would actually say that this arm is probably 12 13 inches long and then when you swing this all the way out imagine that you've got almost two feet and that's great because you can move this around just like this and put the microphone 
really close to the camera lens or you can move it out you can move it off to the side you can really angle it however you want and the microphone holder itself also moves now all of this up here is metal but this piece right here this little yoke on the microphone is plastic and then you can see not only will it move side to side but it'll also move and angle up and down and that's probably because this is a cardioid microphone you can see that it has like a metal grate over it this is pretty nice it's isolated from vibrations with a little bungee cord that holds it in place which is nice i don't know that this is their highest end microphone but hopefully it'll work we will definitely test that out you also have a windscreen right here and then right on the back of it you can actually see that Marantz logo. And so if I were using this for myself, I might get a little custom sticker to put on there that says Peter Von Panda. And then the wire from that microphone obviously goes back into the arm and so you don't have any dangling wires. I wanna show you that there's a little tab and that's where these little color rings will be able to come out. And you just kind of pry it out here, held into place. And then you can take your other colored ring and put it right in there and snap it in. So that's, how easy it is to change these. If we take a look at the front, this is where all your controls are. So it's really nice because as I'm looking into the camera, I'll be able to adjust the controls here. You have your brightness for your ring light right there. You have uh, buttons here to turn off the camera or the microphone. So it's nice that you can be able to go quickly to an off or on position right there. You also have a mix button here and it says PC and mic. So what I think you can do is actually capture and pass through audio, whether it's playing on your computer or through the microphone and bias it one way or the other. And then down here, we also have what I think is the gain here. So the min and max. And so you can actually put a headphone into this three and a half millimeter jack here so that you can also monitor your audio. And then on the reverse side, we have two USB 3.0 ports, the USB-C, an aux out right there, as well as your power. So despite how big this is and how far this arm can stick out here, this whole contraption is really sturdy and pretty heavy. It's actually a little uncomfortable to hold up for long periods of time, but you don't have to worry about it falling over. I was really worried about the construction, whether it would be heavy on plastics, maybe something that you might bump and break, or how unstable it might be because of its ungainliness. But I have no worries about that. And then you can bring everything in and have it really close. So now we have to see how good is it. So I've got my MacBook here plugged into the Marantz turret and I am using the camera and the microphone. Now, one thing I will say is that the USB-C port goes into the Marantz turret and so you get that standard USB port coming out so it'll plug into pretty much any computer. But in my case, because the MacBook only has a USB-C port, I could either switch to a double-ended USB-C cable or I could use an adapter, which is what I'm doing right here. And one of the nice things is when the webcam is powered on, it has these blue lights indicating that. So if I hit the power button on the webcam, you can see they go out. And so that's pretty nice. And then if I play with the ring light, boom, look, variable intensity, it's awesome. When the microphone is powered on, you do have a blue light in there too. So you have a lot of indications that things are active. So if I hit the power button for the microphone, you can see it goes red, which is pretty awesome. Now I do have the gain on the microphone set all the way up and I have the mix set to microphone because I, that's all I want. I've got the microphone about a foot away from my face here. I'm just going to play with the angle, tilt it up a little bit so you can judge the audio quality for yourself. I actually don't have the ring light turned on, so I'm just going to turn it on here and then I'm going to crank it up. So that is it on its brightest setting. I do have this room fairly well lit anyway. But the cool thing about this, man, is I could sit back here, put the microphone right up to me. I feel like I'm in a studio being interviewed. You can see here that the Marantz microphone is advertising itself on camera right there. And so, you know, wherever I'm sitting, I could always get this close enough to be really convenient to me. And I, I just love the fact that all of this is set up in a single package. So it makes it easier if I wanna go somewhere to work environment or a conference room or on a trip and really have a nice professional setup. Again, 1080p on the camera isn't ideal for me, but it's really good enough in most cases. And you know, that's really nice high resolution. So I really like this and it puts the camera right where I would want it as opposed to up at top. Because I think for most people that are doing streaming or Zoom calls or conference calls or things like that, it always looks like the camera is looking down and people are always looking away, they're looking at their screen. So this allows you to put the camera 
even in front of your monitor. I could put the monitor behind it, look straight at what people are doing and the people that I'm meeting with, and it looks more like I'm looking at them. So I really like that. And again, more than anything, it's really just the high quality nature of the Marantz products that I've really come to appreciate. And so that's why I took a stab at this because it's not exactly cheap. At $250, it's kind of a lot of money for this setup. But I think in most cases, people don't want to mess with getting a camera, getting a microphone, getting a ring light, setting it all up, having multiple plugs taken up. And so this is a great single package. And I will say that even though it is $250, which is not necessarily cheap, I do actually think it's a pretty good value. One, you get a stand. A microphone stand alone is like $20 or $30, not to mention that fact that you might need one for the camera and whatnot. You also get the ring light, which is built in right up here. You get a decent little webcam. And so a decent webcam can easily be $100 to $150. A ring light can be $30. A boom arm right here can easily be $99. A good microphone can easily be $150. I think my Marantz was like $150. So the fact that I get it all here, I think is actually a pretty good value. Now, I wish they maybe had a next generation with a 4K camera and maybe something with a physical cover that. But otherwise, I really think this is a great idea. I guess I'm not surprised that these are really hard to get right now and usually sold out. So I'm going to be using this a lot in the future for live streams and video chats and maybe just filming on the go. Hey, if you want to pick it up, I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.